this is Nina here with Hema's Marine Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Hi. This is um, our Overcomer Secret Day. It's the day of the week when we dig into the Overcomer Secret Book and pull out concepts that are in beautiful truths that you can find in those scriptures that are really laid out very well in this book. So we'll talk about them. And um, today the name of the chapter is titled Input Number Three, Showing Mercy. We talk about the need to show mercy. And so we're going to learn about why that's important and how to do it. Let's open up with a word of prayer and we'll get right into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Not to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Good. So today we're talking about showing mercy we've actually sort of talked about this and maybe touched on it in the past one lesson a while ago we just talked about it in passing the need to show mercy um but we're going to just talk about it more extensively today so showing mercy is basically when your brother picks up his crayon and throws it at your head and at that moment you have a decision to make i can either retaliate and just pick up three pencils and toss that is it, you know, or crayons. Or I can just ask him nicely, don't do that again. And if he continues, get mommy or daddy or something like that. That's the decision you have to make. What happens when sister walks up to your plate and takes your corn dog and eats it while you're away watching your cartoon? And you return to your plate and your corn dog's missing. And you look over just to find that the corn dog stick is in her hand. And what do you want to do? I'll get you! <laughs> or something like that. Please don't do that. But, you know, you kind of feel that way. Why did you just... What, how, excuse me. And then you want to go and, what, take her corn dog or throw, throw the dog at her or something like that. We don't, we don't necessarily, what God teaches us to do, actually, is to um, show mercy. Okay. And um, showing mercy, even if people don't ask for it, that's the thing that may confuse some people. They think, oh, in order for me to show mercy to you, you need to come to me, grovel, beg, plead, and cry, and request mercy. But the Lord Jesus says, even if they don't do any of that, you still need to show mercy. Yeah, even if they look at you and take your corn dog and take the last bite right in front of you. The Lord Jesus gives us some examples. He says, if someone slaps your cheek, you turn the other to the other cheek. Hmm? He says, if they take your tunic, give them the other tunic. He says, you love, you're meant to um, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You know, he told the example of the coin in the fish's mouth Peter goes up to him how many times do I have to keep forgiving these people how many times and um, the Lord Jesus said not seven times 70 times seven and guess what if you read that story very closely the tax the temple tax collectors they didn't ask Peter for forgiveness they say Peter please forgive us where we, we ask you for your forgiveness sir no that's not what Jesus said Jesus did say if they repent unto you there, there does come a time in the later in the scripture where Jesus says, if a brother offends you, you go up to him and show him his sin. That's a different, that's a different thing. But showing mercy has nothing to do with someone repenting to you. Another great example illustrated in this book is that of King Saul. King Saul, the number of times he tried to hurt David. And to be quite honest, he was never truly remorseful. Um, even if he had been prior to he would attempt again to hurt David and to kill him. But God would say, I've given David, I've given Saul into your hands. Go ahead. Since he's here, you're there, he's asleep. Just go and take his life. And you know, David said to maybe some of his men or <clears throat> to himself, I wouldn't dare hurt God's anointed. Did Saul deserve to be shown mercy? So that's an important thing to know, first of all, just in case your brother or sister takes your corn dog or throws a crayon at you. It's not because they necessarily, but is it nice when they do that? Yeah, it's nice for them, right? It's nice for them. It's nice for them when they say, I'm sorry. 
That's good for them. It's good for them when they ask you ask for forgiveness. But you have to keep your own heart good. Okay? So showing mercy even when people don't deserve it. Because isn't that kind of how God is with us? Yeah. Okay. Especially for uh yeah, God is believe us. If it weren't for the mercy of the Lord, we would be consumed. That's just the truth. So um so the act of showing mercy is the third input um, through which we may receive mercy. We've talked about different ways we can receive mercy. If we want mercy in our lives, if we want God to give us mercy, like Jesus said, Jesus said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. If we want God to be merciful to us, then we need to be honest. And we've been talking a lot about honesty and faith. We need to make sure we repent often. Every time we do something wrong, keep our, our relationship with God in good terms. Stay at peace with God and make sure God is in peace with you. And, and that's good. And then also um, be merciful. So this is the third topic, if you will. Third input to receive mercy from God. So if you want mercy from God, we have to show mercy. Yeah, is that, is that pretty straightforward? Um, one way, so how do we show mercy? So we know that we need to. We know what showing mercy is. We know uh, why we need to show mercy. We want mercy from God. But how? How do I do this? Good question. So the simple answer to that is this. Everything you have has come as a consequence of God's mercy to you. Even if you discount everything you have, maybe you have nothing. Maybe you just... Uh, you know, maybe you have nothing but the shoes on your feet and the shirt on your back. Maybe you have no family and you have no, you know, toys and food, easy access to food or clean water. Maybe you're just a roaming child roaming through the world. For some reason, you ended up in that situation. May God have mercy on you, by the way, if that's who you are. But you know what? If nothing else, this is the reason. Because God, in his great mercy, shows mercy to you every day. If that's the only thing you have is, you know, the shirt on your back, that's still good enough reason to show mercy to others. And that's still good enough reason to say, I need to be merciful because God is merciful to me. Okay. Having that attitude is incredibly important. Everything I have, everything I own, including the breath that I breathe, belongs to God. So we want to make sure that we're trading wisely with it. Okay. Um... So uh, what does it mean to show mercy to others? What does that mean? It just means you, sh you show kindness to them, even if they don't deserve your kindness. My sister took my corn dog. Mom, you don't understand. I was really, really hungry. She took my corn dog and that was the last corn dog in the refrigerator. And yada, yada, yada. You show kindness even when they don't deserve it. <laughs> mommy, mommy, my brother took the crayon. And he threw it at my head. Can't you see? He threw the well, mom or daddy may discipline him, but you still have to show mercy in, with relations to you, two of you. You still have to show mercy. Um, that's still just important, just like the examples I gave you from scriptures. So remember God's show of mercy in your life. Whenever you've committed that atrocious sin against him, what did you do? You said, sorry, God, please forgive me. And God forgive you. So in the same way that God forgives us, when people do things against us, and you know deep down, hey, that wasn't fair. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, you know. And you could just hold on to that and just be done. You know what I mean? You could just be like, but that's not right, because God doesn't hold on to our sins, thank God. So we need to be able to treat it like water off the duck's back and still extend kindness to them, minister to them, or whatever it is that God wants us to do for that person. Is that good? I think it's good. Okay, so here's a question for you. Pull out your writing journal. Let's answer these questions. Is it important to show mercy to others? And if so, why? Question two, how can we remember to show mercy to others? What is something that we should be thinking about that will cause us to remember to show mercy to other people? Yeah, good questions. Thank you so much for coming to class, being a part of today's lesson. But until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't
you 